Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create rental website on Squarespace. Nothing hard, so let's get started. So here we are on squarespace.com and firstly, you need to create an account. If you are new to this platform, you can easily do it by logging in through Gmail or other platforms which are connected to Squarespace. In my case, I already have an account. After that, uh, we need to click on get started in the right top corner or in the left side on our screen. So let's click and we'll come to the next page where we can just simply start creating our rental website. So here, as you can see, we have a couple of options to interact with our like template to make it more customized as for us. Um, we have a couple of types topics and also we can find the most uh, popular templates as you know Squarespace is about creating websites from templates we can also do it from scratch but basically if you want to make it easier and if you use Squarespace you want to make it easier we can just simply use a uh, template uh, to make to find the template just simply select the necessary topic in my case I'm going to use a real estate and properties but I can also say that you can customize every single website every single template as you need you can change color palette you can change uh, like all images all text inside and it will be pretty easy as for you to make it so also I want to use like one page website. I'm going to click on skip, skip, and I want to uh, use like professional design template. So now we can select the most suitable as for us. In my case, I want to use uh, this one here, uh, this uh, like template. And you can try to find something more suitable, but in my case, I'm going to use this one here. So I'll just simply click on this uh, template. We can change our color presets. We can see how will it look like. It may take a little time until everything will be uploaded. It depends on your internet speed, internet connection, and so on. So I, I'll use this color preset and let's click on start with this design. As you can see, nothing hard. And now we just simply need to wait until everything will be set up. Uh, and we'll come to our dashboard where we can easily interact with all the things, with all stuff. So let's wait until everything will be done. And here we are on our dashboard. Firstly, we need to select our site title. Let it be like rental plus you. Next, next and next. So now we can easily interact with all the things. And firstly, I want to show you how can we edit content inside. After that, I'll show you um, parts about marketing, CEO, how to interact with the pages, how to delete, how to add. So firstly, let's manage our content. Click on edit in the top of the screen, right here. And after that, we'll come to our editor where, as you can see, everything is divided into different elements. And in order to interact with them, just simply click on the necessary one. And here we can find a couple of options like edit, add background, align vertically, pin and so on. Every single object here has its own properties. For example, for this button, we can manage link. Where will it link to? To website, to maybe some part of our website and so on. Also, we can interact with the wall sections. So we can move them up, we can move them down, we can rotate with the help of this. And also we have option to add a block in the left top corner right here. So we can add text, button, form, newsletter, shape, map, markdown, and so on. And as you can see, this interface is quite easy to understand, quite easy to work with. Uh, if you want to see more in-depth tutorials, I recommend you to see my other videos. You can try to search it on my channel. And now uh, when everything is like um, edited, so you're edit your um your images your content your products your like properties and so on we are ready to click on save i'm going to click on exit 
and exit once more. And after that, we'll come to the previous page. Uh, from this page here, we can then interact with all the things. So we can manage pages, uh, selling stuff, marketing, and so on. So let's take a look at pages. On our pages, we can um, manage our navigation. So firstly, on this template, for example, we have only about page and our team. We also have like home and contact us. If you want to add a new page, you can click on plus, see all the uh, templates we have, like events, videos, portfolio, store. Let's say that we want to add a couple of videos uh, and I want to add this one here. So after that, we'll have this page with videos. We can open it. And also we can click on edit and then interact with every single part of this uh, page. So we can add your properties videos and so on. Uh, on the marketing page, we can interact with email campaigns. For example, if somebody is subscribed to your email, uh, like a campaign, you can send emails uh, directly from Squarespace. On analytics, uh, we can see information about our traffic visitors. Uh, rate, uh, traffic sources, search keywords, which is like really important. And also on the scheduling page, we can add some like, stuff with uh, content we can add in the future. So what's important on marketing? So if we'll open our marketing tools, we can see the URL builder, announcement bar and promotional pop. If you want to uh, make your conversion higher, you can use all these stuff in order to uh, like create sales, uh, make it make rentals easier and so on. On selling area, we can interact with products. In our case, uh, we can manage properties. So we can click on products, add a physical product, for example, uh, we'll use it as a product so we'll add a property as a product. So we can add a product name, a couple of images, um, price, for example, rental price, and so on. And when everything is done, we can then publish our website. As you can see, if we are new to this platform, we'll have like two weeks trial. But if we'll click on subscribe, we'll be able to see all the plans. Um, in my case, I recommend you to use a business $23 per month. We'll save like 36% and we have all the features we need to interact with basically a rental part on this thing. So yeah, this it was pretty easy. After that, our website will be automatically published. And this is a way of how to create a rental website on Squarespace. Hope this video helped you out, so leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys.